Today we are doing an oil change on my 2017 Road King. Now I feel like an oil change is some, it's something that everybody should be able to do, um, or everybody should do it on the oil machines anyways. I do it on all my cars and I, I've done it on all my bikes. Super easy, simple, quick, and save a lot of money because if you go to a dealer, they're gonna charge you an hour minimum. Plus you get to know, you, you get to know your bike a little better. Anyways, I am not a mechanic. I'm a little mechanic, mechanically inclined, but I'm no mechanic by no means. So let's get going. First thing you want to do is get it nice and hot, baby. We get the oil hot and it will run out a lot faster and hopefully get all that nasty shit out of there. Okay, I want to pull now the the plug it's right there right in front of the oil pan you can see there's the bike and the plug is right there this firm one right here and it's gonna be a 5 8 I'm gonna use an open end because it's just easy for me <laughs> it's handy make sure you remove the oil cap too helps the oil drain faster just remove it just let, it, let it sit there oil should be draining pretty good now oh yeah baby We're golden now let's go to the other side and we'll remove the oil filter there it is we got the ratchet on we already broke it loose it's coming off now there's several ways to get this off as the people rig up all kinds of weird shit around this filter because they don't want to get oil on their bike and shit. Me, oil pan is down there. Um, so it doesn't hit the ground and the rest will get on the bike. Why? Because I'm messy like that and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's all right, I'll wash off eventually, I'll come off. I'll take it to the car wash, give it a really good wash and it will be like it never happened. For the oil, this is what we're going to use, the Maxima Racing Oils. Why? Well, I've used it several times. I'm pretty happy with it. I use it on my bikes. Uh, you get the whole kit. It comes with the filter, it comes with the oil. You can even get the kit that comes with the uh, stuff for the all three holes for the primary and the transmission. But today we're just doing the engine oil. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. And man, I cannot even tell you the difference. You know, people says, oh, my bike runs different with this can oil, man, they're full of shit. You cannot tell the difference. My bike, even though it's a maxi it says Maximan racing oils, my bike doesn't fucking race, it's a fucking rookie, man. It's a bagger, it goes slow. Low wind slow. <laughs> so, that's what we're gonna use for this oil change. Let's get it. One thing that I will say, uh, this is the oil, the old one. This is a new one, of course. Always make sure they're the same. Make sure the rubber gasket is the exact same size. Make sure they match up. As you can see, they're both exactly the same. So I used the same filter and same oil last time. Um, so yeah, now that it's the same, we're gonna put some oil around the new gasket and we're gonna put it on the bike. This new filter from Maxima already comes with a little lubricant on the gasket as you can see, but I still recommend you put some of the new stuff on it, just a little bit. As you can see, always check that the old gasket comes off, comes out of there, but as you already saw with the, you already saw with the old filter that it came out, you know, so. We're ready to go, let's put a little bit of oil on this thing and stick it in there. But I do want to point out that this plug has a little ring gasket. I mean, you can see it right there, yes, the little ring gasket. That ring gasket needs to get changed every time you do an oil change. Make sure you change it or it will leak. Now, you can go to Harley and buy this little gasket for eight bucks, or you can just do like I do. Go to O'Reilly, buy the same gasket for about a buck, 99 cents, done deal. And it works just fine. I used it several times, it's a high temperature, all, all ring. 
I've used it several times on different bikes, never leaked. So yeah, I just wanted to point those couple of things out. Well, I ran out of daylight. And there's a hole right there. Probably can't even see much anymore, but pulling this, pulling the plug back in. Then I'm gonna get it tightened up. Now the next last thing to do is put the oil, put the bike up in temperature, and check for leaks. Now time to pour the new fresh oil. I have a funnel in my truck over there, funnels in the back, but I'm too lazy for that. I'm just gonna pour it free-handed. Hope for the best. I'm not gonna let you guys, I'm not gonna let you watch this because I gotta concentrate. <laughs> 